Hello, hello, hello guys, hello, welcome back. Welcome back to your friendly neighborhood. Of course, I'm friendly and we're back. We're back with another video, another episode, another another theme. And today we're here with Temtem. Now I wanted to make a series called Noob Noob as kind of like, you know, a uh, reference to both Rick and Morty as well as, of course, Temtem because Temtem is a Pokemon style game that is available on the PC and soon to be consoles. Now I always like uh, Temtem because, um, it might be actually available on consoles now, but uh, yeah, Temtem because it's kind of, kind of a cross between like I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, Digimon and Pokemon all mixed up into one. I really like that idea. Anyway, guys, we are going to play through it, so we're going to have as much fun as we want. We can go as far as we want. We can stop at any point. But for now, I think we should jump in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And don't forget to eat spaghetti. Let's go. Okay, so first we're going to start off by making a character. Uh, I'm going to do a male body. And let's give... Oh, look at all the running styles. This is this is the Tom Cruise. This is definitely the Tom Cruise run. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to make it a little bit like beachy. Um, head shape. Don't really have much... There's not huge amounts of differences. I think I'll go with this one. And I'll give him some cute eyes. I want some cute eyes. I want some adorable, adorable eyes. I don't want anything too scary. Oh, I love the variation though. There is a lot of, there's actually some variation to it, which is nice. I like that one. Oh, I look so adorable. Blue eyes. I give myself blue eyes. I get the anime eyes. Um, Hairstyle. Everyone goes for this one. Everyone I everyone I've seen so far has goes goes for this one. I just it's the only one close to my hair. Which is kind of disappointing. Like they need more hairstyles, but look, they're oh, that's a Lieutenant Surge hair. That is some Pokemon Lieutenant Surge hair. I like that. Look at the tips. Look at the tips. We could do the opposite way around, but um oh wow, look at those colors. What if I did it like that? Now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go dark brown and I'll go the light tips. There we go. We've got those tippies going on. Ooh, the white looks better. I'm gonna go white. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go white. I'm gonna go white. I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's see. Go shirt on. Um, I'm a hoodie person, so ooh, that hoodie's cooler though. So we're gonna go black and white. I like that. I like this one. I like this one. And we'll go, we'll actually go some pants pants. I don't know if I want to, although those are cool. Those are some cool pants. These, like these, oh my God, short shorts. Look at the short shorts. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm adorable. They got my little short shorts on. Look, if the shoes were better matching, I would. Um, but I, I, I don't know about that. I mean, I wear shorts all the time. So I, I feel like that would be closer to what I do, but like, you can change the color of the socks. Oh my god. Pink socks. No, I uh, get some blue socks and white pants. Nah, I'll, I'll wear some I'll wear some actual pants, guys. I'll wear some actual pants. Wear some jeans. There you go. We got some jeans. That's cute. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about a young character wearing basically nothing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go white and we'll go blue. Or should we go blue and we should go white? That's better. That's better. I've got some matching clothes going on. I look I look like that rich kid. I look like that rich kid who started Pokemon. I'm probably going to be the annoying character. All right. We're going into the world. Oh, my God. Oh. <gasps> friendly. Friendly. Still sleeping. Come on. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> you guys know I'm going to do the voices. Good morning, friendly. Morning. Well, you better wake up fast. They're all waiting for you. Oh! Ha ha ha! Sleepyhead, don't you, re uh, you really don't remember what day it is? Today? Today? Oh! It's, uh, today is my apprentice Eve. Oh. <laughs> exactly, my dear. Congratulations. I got a Tempedia. Uh, it's a quintessential device for every tamer should have. The Tempedia records crucial information on every Tim Tim, seen or caught. Yours is a present from Anya. And here is your Apprentice Eve present. Oh, a Tempede? You're an apprentice now. 
Soon you'll be heading into Archimedia, so I figure you'll need a good tempeed. Thank you. So do you know how it works? Yeah! The tempeed lists all the temtems I catch, I, I capture, and stores them info about them. Professor Constantinos showed us how to use it. I like, I like that. Remember the, remember those subtitles where they're just like, "This is such a great idea that you had. Uh, 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 this is such a great idea that you had, Kylum One Seven Four. I really think that you are exciting and very adventurous. <laughs> Ooh, this is my home." So pretty. This game is really pretty. I like the art style they went with. It's not overly detailed, but it's detailed enough that it doesn't look like plasticine or something. Rubber. Cartoony. It's friendly! Congratulations! Happy Apprentice Day. Apprentice is Eve friendly. Oh, oh my! All oh, the Zadars are here! Congratulations! We know this is a big day for you, but we're also going to miss you. We got a little pocket money for your trip for academia. It's not much, but we've all chipped in. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, my dear neighbors. But Friendly, where's your friend Max? Someone call? Oh, hey, Friendly. Did you know it's Princess Eve 2? My Princess Eve 2? Hello, Max. You've been waiting for Professor Constanesos. <laughs> Hello, kids. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, Professor Constanesos. Please take care of Friendly. Our children, they grow up so fast and one day they're gone! Oh! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my dear Anya. I'll drop Friendly and Max off. Okay, so we have the map and we can run around here. So if I press M, it shows me a map of everywhere. Oh, and then we got the new area! So we've got to go there to finish our quest and there's another quest there. Look how big this map is. Wait, what does that say? Archipelago's map? Is there more areas we can explore? Ooh. Okay, let's go, let's go, uh, let's go see the professor. Pro join Professor Constantinos, 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 I guess. Hello, friendly. Come here. Very well, kids. As you know, this is the Princess Eve, meaning you have already learned the basic theories of Temtem. Now you're ready to handle your first Temtem. See those glass jars? Each contains a different Temtem from all around the Archipelagos. Arch Archipelago? Archipelago. Hey! Te hey, Teach! Do you have any digital? Oh. Digital Temtems are a very recent invention, my young friend. They are very seldom found. <laughs> I have one. Oh, it's so cute. Where did you get that? It doesn't matter, friendly. From the fanciest to the humblest of Temtem, it is a tamer that makes the difference. <laughs> and since Max already has a Temtem, let's get you one too. Take your pick. What? What does Friendly get to choose and I don't? Mm -hmm. Quiet, please. Oh. Go ahead, friendly. See which one you like the best. Take your time. The first Temtem is always most important in every tamer. I mean, he looks pretty cool because he's got like all the gems. He's a cute little monkey. And he's a flying psychic cube guy. Uh, I'm gonna go not him. I, I'll cross off this one because he's not really my type. Uh, fight type or earth? Fight or earth? Uh, you know what? I usually go the monkey. So this time I'm gonna go this one. What's oh. his name? Crystal. Is a crystal temtem. It is strong against electric and mental, but weak against fire and earth. I caught this one in the ashen plains of Tumaka, near the Amethyst Barrens. Are you sure you want this temtem? Yeah! Excellent choice, friendly. <gasps> He's mine! What should I call him? Okay. Uh, we get to rename them, so what should I call him? I feel like I should name them after Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna call this one. I'm gonna call this one Bulbasaur. Bulba? Bulbazar. <laughs> I'm gonna name them after Pokemon, like the closest Pokemon they look like. Oh, it's Max! Friendly, the teacher's pet! You think you're better than me, don't you? And now you have a brand new Temtem, huh? Let's see what it can do with it. Okay, so I, I know that I'm gonna lose this battle because he has a digital one, but 
Let's battle Max, our first Temtem battle. Oh, it's so cute. Bulbasaur, get ready! Okay, using techniques. Uh, yep, cool. Ooh, Grass Blade. Let's try it, Grass Blade. Oh, that looks awesome. Mechanical Heat. Whoa, it does twice the damage. It only does half the damage. Oh, he changed type. That is so cool. Mechanical ones can change their own type. Which, I'm guessing, can be quite handy in the, the face of battle. Ha! Take that, friendly! My first victory. Hurrah! <laughs> you won, Max! That digital Temtem of yours really gave you an edge. It's all about the Tamer, not the Temtem! Didn't you say that a minute ago, Teach? Ah! Uh. Congratulations, Max. Don't let your first uh, defeat affect you too much, friendly. You really, uh, you never really stood a chance against Max or Re. Digital Tentems are the rarest and most powerful innovation. <laughs> Let me take a look at the bo at your Bulbasaur. You could use a couple of badges and some balm. They're all healed. Oh. To level the playing field, I have something for you, friendly. <gasps> a toucan! Oh, is there a toucan Pokemon? I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up. Okay, according to this, there is a Toucan Pokemon. Its name is Toucanon. So we're gonna we're gonna type it out. Toucanon. It's a Toucanon. I, I love there's a there's a Toucan Pokemon. I did not know that at all. Tua might not look like much, but it is one of the rarest Temtem I have ever found. Take good care of it. I have reason to believe there's more to it than meets the eye. It's true. You can actually like. You can evolve it into like th four or five different versions of the toucan. What? I don't get one of those. You already have a digital Temtem, Max. Still, not fair. Yeah. Oh. My research suggests Tua might react to certain places of power, but I haven't found any in the uh, of on this island. That's why I'm going back to Aubrey to consult with my peers. <laughs> I have to catch an airship, but you kids can walk. Uh, <laughs> But I can walk you kids to the arca ac academia. Bah! We don't need a babysitter! <laughs> Fair enough. Perhaps you can travel on your own. It will be a way to prove yourselves. Oh. Very well, friendly. Max, I'll go ahead and wait for you in Brickadama. Brickadama. You two head north and meet you there. Listen up. The path of teeming with Temtem. So, have a few Temtem cards, or Tem cards. Use them to capture the Temtems. You've got some eight Tem cards. A Tem card is... A Tem card. A card-like device used to capture and transport Temtems. Mm -hmm. And since they won't go down without a fight, I have some bomb to heal your Temtem in battle. Exactly. Bomb. A bomb made using a blend of Demizen healing herbs restores 25 health. That's it. Good luck, and remember, I'll be expecting you in Brickle Demar. Be prudent, kids. Well, there we go. I'm gonna look around, because I know there's a quest around here I can actually take. Oh, do you give me my quest? Do you give me my first quest? Now, where is that thingy? Hey, friendly, I'm so sorry I couldn't attend your big send-off, kid. No problem, Clara. It's just I've been looking for a pendant since early this morning. I can't find it. I swear, if Fana finds out I've lost it, you'll never hear the end of it. Where did you last see it? Well, I was just here, here by the sea. And well, it was very warm, and I, so I went for a swim in the river. I must have lost it then. I'll find it. Thank you, friendly. I really owe you big time. Keep looking around the beach, just in case. Maybe he knows something. <gasps> Look, there's a floaty. There's something over there. I want it. <laughs> I want it now. Okay, what about this guy? I finally found some quiz and quiet. Nothing being said out of the quiet lies Max and Bears. Yeah. I guess a youngster prefers a solo, right? A big city of excitement and crowds and hustle and bustle. But remember this. One day you'll learn to be apprentice. <laughs> I love Zadar. You're wise beyond your years, kid. Okay, so it's not here. But if we look along, we might be able to find it. dum da dum da dum I... Have you guys noticed that we're actually living on a floating island? Like, literally, this island is floating. I didn't know that when I first started playing, because I played it, like, when it first went on to Early Access. That's when I bought it. And uh, I haven't. I only played it a little bit. I haven't got past a certain point, too. Huh. 
I'm not seeing her bracelet. What, what about this guy? Has he seen it? That was an impressive send-off. Incredible. Seems like it was yesterday when your kids played uh, with the sticks and swords. And look now, ready for academia. Now a word. Will you please take care of, uh, of Max? Professor Kernstar says you're off to the academia. Well then, please be, please take care in pressing, pressing curve. And remember to use bomb if your Temtem gets bruised. Okay. Well, here we are. We're in Pristine Coast! The road to... I like that it actually has like some sort of... Da 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 da! Look at that Temtem! It's a beautiful gold bird! Oh, it's golden. I think it's one of the rare ones. This is my first non-max battle. Get ready, friendly. Okay, so we're against something cool. Oh, I got Bulbasaur and two cannon. Go! Okay, so we're against a Paharo and a Pig Pick. A Piggy Pick. I'm gonna do Grass. Is there a way of checking what's double damage or anything like that? I'll try. Ooh, oh, okay, so definitely don't use the wind against that one. <laughs> That's what I know. <gasps> Ooh, Bamboozle. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh my god. Hey, you. This is supposed to be my spot. You've come to pick a sweet stuff lying around. Well, me too. So tell you what, let's fight. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Pokemon he, oh, po I keep saying Pokemon. I wonder what Temtem he has. Oh, Pig Packs. Pig Packs. Bubbazaar and two cannon come out. Uh, I'm gonna use Grass Blade. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna, just gonna try to get rid of the weaker one first. I've noticed that some people have Temtem that are glowing. I mean, I've not seen most of these Temtem, but look at the ones that are glowing. I wonder why that is. I think that you can get different types of Temtem from rare Temtems to shiny Temtems or golden Temtems. All of them look cool though. Ooh, we found another item hidden away. I like that they're little boxes. It's so cute. We got a revive, which we might need at some point. You know, if, uh, if another one of our, our Temtems pass out. I'm going to check this dock just in case. <gasps> well, hello! Shh! You're making too much noise! Stomping around like that! Oh, what you did, you scared off all the water, Temtem. My first wild Temtem. What is it? Oh, Swally. I want to catch one of the Swallies because I actually really like Swally. Although this is a pretty weak Swally. I think I can find a better one. So I might see if I can just uh, wipe these two out and move on with my adventure. Might as well get the experience though. Ooh, we got a level up. The level eight and level seven. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to... Oh, wait, what? Is this a dead end? Oh, we go this way. Oh no! Yeah! We fought, we caught our first Temtem! <laughs> now, I'm gonna call them... I could call them Kakuna or Metapod, but... Ah, it's gonna turn into like a Butterfly Pokemon, so I kind of want to call it Butterfree now. I'd rather call it Butterfree instead of Metapod or Kakuna. Ooh! We're down by the beach with the hanky-panky. I love the beach area. It's so nice. And look, look at the when you run through all the water puddles. And when you run through here, like so these little footprints. I like those little details. That actually really makes the game more enjoyable. For me, at least. Ah, we have to beat the twins who have a FOMU. Oh, and a Sally. Swally. Swally and a FOMU. The FOMU is adorable. Oh, Amphibian. My attack went up and so did my speed. Well, thank you for that. Oh, now my attack went down. Well, thanks, Swally. Thanks a freaking lot, Swally. I'm gonna kill him first. I'm gonna do tenderness to FOMU. Okay, ready? Grass Blade! Get rid of FOMU first, but they do have two each, so I am gonna have to deal with that. He's gonna use tenderness, which doesn't really affect Swally, because Swally at level two doesn't have any abilities, so it's not really doing much. Which kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. Like, I'm gonna have to wait for my Swally to level up. It's like having a uh, meta Metapod or a Kakuna at level four. Our Spiley now has its first uh, ability that will actually do damage, which is Orsharol, which actually is super effective against itself, so I can use it against their Swally. But it does mean if we ever go against a Swally that's level 5 or more, it's going to be super effective against us. So we've got to watch out for that. That's going to be a bit scary. I do love my amphibian ability. That's really cool. Even though I'm a rock creature, it makes no sense. Ah, who cares? Oh, it killed itself over exertion! Oh. Well, 
It's dead, I suppose. All right, in this battle, we have a Pario and a Kalazoo, which looks like some sort of water Pokemon. Okay, this time around, we have a Paraho? A, a Paho? And a Kalazoo, which looks like some sort of water type? Temtem? -tem? I'm not entirely sure, but let's see what does good damage against it. Grass play was okay. Oh my god, it's staring at us. Watch out. Watch out, Bulbasaur. He's staring at you. Oh, and a water type attack. Okay, okay. So they work in tandem. Luckily, my speed attack went up. Oh, it does double damage. Oh, we've got a new ability called Crystal Dust. I want to try that out. I don't know if it's uh, if it's going to work, but let's, let's give it a go. Crystal Dust. Oh, whoa. That was like a freaking machine gun. Love it. Love it so much. I'm really liking, I'm liking Bulbasaur. He's great. Oh, wow. Look at this toucan. It's, it's a lava fire toucan. And this is what can happen if you actually evolve that toucan in the special ways. It's one of the rarest poke, uh, it's one of the rarest Temtems, but look at it. So pretty. I can't wait. I can't wait to level my toucanon. I think I figured out why they do the, um, exhaustion thing and using points towards a stamina bar rather than having PP. It's because if we run out of an ability, then you have to stop, you know, battling and stuff, but, or using that ability. But with Temtem, they made it so that you just have to sleep and then you can start using the same ability again. We've come across a Paharo, a wild one. And this is something I actually want to catch, not because I want it. It's because I actually want to use it for, um, a quest. There's a quest where they fight between water type and air type. So I've decided I want to catch this one so I can get ready for that quest line. I don't, I don't want to have to go back and go find one. Oh no, you broke free already? No, 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 no. You're going to be mine. You're going to be mine and you're going to like it. You're going to like it, little one. This is our final battle before we get to the next part of the island. And I am kind of enjoying this. So far, the battles have been smooth. They've been fun. And it's not too over the top. I'm not like going, oh my god, make it stop or any of that sort of stuff. But I am finding it a little bit difficult. Well, it's just a tiny bit difficult to try to balance them because I don't know anything about the Temtems. I don't know what ability works best with others. Oh my god, I just knocked out my Butterfree. So I'm, I'm running into the problem of not knowing enough about the actual Temtems to perfectly calculate how this is going to play out. The great thing about using different Temtems to do different types of battles, now I am at 11, uh, level 11 with my three Temtem that I have chosen. That kind of makes me feel good. My, my team is balanced. I didn't just stick to my starter like some people may do or may feel comfortable to do. Hi there. Hello. Listen, Z Zainab, I don't want to... Oh, sorry, I thought you were a friend of mine. Friends? Yeah, well, more than friends. Not that it's any of your business anyway. Maybe you need help. Well, what do you know about Temtems anyway? You can't really help unless you're a proper tamer. But I am! Okay then, so Zainab and I... Well, so everything was working until... Duh, this sounds ridiculous, but anyway, she loves wind tantems. Me, I'm more of a water type sort of girl. So? You don't understand. It's personal. Water and wind do not go together well. Perhaps we're not made for each other. Anyway, I, this is escalated. We're not speaking, speaking terms. I know I should just do something about it, but, you know, I'm stubborn and so is she. Maybe you can talk to Zenith? That's a nice suggestion, but actually I meant, well, all right, you really don't mind. It's not a problem at all, and it's nothing. Let me help. Okay, then. See if she'll listen to you. And thank you. I really mean it. Okay, let's go over here and see if we can help. So you spoken to Kara? And she needs you to apologize for her? The nerve. Tell her I come... Uh, uh, Tell her to come say she's sorry in person. If she really means that. She sends a present. Oh, I hope it's a pyro. It is a pyro. Select. Send. You have it over to your pyro. Pyro. Ah, a pyro. 
Oh, really? Oh, my, I've never thought of it. she'd really get me a win, Tim. And my favorite, too. Oh, well, that's so lovely of her. Gosh, I'm such a fool. I get so angry at her like that. I was saving up to buy one for some tamer. But since you were so nice, you can have the pensions. Money doesn't buy happiness. Love does. And now you can give us some privacy. I'd like to have a conversation with my girlfriend. Oh, look how happy they are together again. Thank you so much for taking care of this. One can get mad at such stupid things. Thanks to Solarium that helped us work through it. Wonderful! We did it! We saved a relationship! And that's what Friendly's all about, huh? <laughs> oh! Huh? What took you so long? So, if you want to catch an airship, you have to rush to see it right now. Otherwise, I'll have to wait for Narwhal. I hear it's in extensive repairs. Don't worry, Professor. I understand. Go then, my friend. I'll take care of the kids. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sophia. I owe you one. Drinks are on me next time you come to Aubrey. <laughs> I shall hold you to your word, Professor, but I see your youngest disciple has arrived. Oh. Right on time! Friendly! Kids, let me introduce you to my good friend Sophia. She is the master dojo of Aurarasola. <laughs> Hi, kids. How are you? I'll be giving a little tour of Brigadama before I drop you off at the Academia. Kids, this is where we part. My airship sails an hour, so I have to rush. I leave you in my capable hands of Sophia. Oh. Get out of here, Conastanos. Uh, we'll miss your flight. There it goes. There goes the professor. Very well. Follow me, friends. Mm -hmm. This little shop here is La Souvenirs. It stocks all kinds of knickknacks for the tourists. It's a good place to get your first Temerson vi uh, file. No apprentice should go without it. So save up and, g and get it as soon as you can afford it. Okay, this way now. Oh, it's a long walk. Mm -hmm. Indigo Lake. Always so peaceful. Some days, when the Celia River is too crowded, I come here to surf a bit and train my water temtem. Mm. And this big building is the Academia. Academia. It's managed by associate teachers from my dojo. That's where I'm going! To the dojo! One day, Max, when you're ready. For now, all new apprentices come here to learn about the basics. Once you are properly trained, you might join the dojo of Alicia. No buts. <sighs> but... And this way to the Temporium. So this is our local Temporium. There's one of these in every major town. It's where the tamers come to heal our temtem and buy temtem stuff. <laughs> they have all you ever need and more. It's always a good idea to pay them as a visit as soon as you arrive in the new town, okay? Oh, what's this part? That's the way to Cilician Cliffs and the road to Rissler. It can be dangerous, so never go without an adult. We are adults! And the docks are that way. I could spend hours just sitting there, feet in the water, watching the pansons turn into the Silivian River, into golden fire and pastel <laughs> pinks. And that's it. This is our little Brick Demar. Brickle Demar, I hope you will make lots of friends and enjoy your stay. <gasps> your classes have started. Kids, I have to go back to the dojo. You're, oh, if you're ever in Australia, drop by the dojo and say hi. Okay, very well then. Have a great day. I like that they're not, they're not, like, they're surprised that children want to be part of this. You heard fr her friendly. I bet you can blaze through academia faster than you. Like she said, come visit me in the dojo one day, loser. As I said, I like that they make it weird that kids want to do this. They're like, oh, uh, very funny. You're not an adult yet, though, so maybe don't try to do that. Whereas in Pokemon... Kids running away to be Pokemon trainers is normal. This is like, oh, okay, very enthusiastic. You might need an adult, though. <laughs> anyway, guys, this does mean we have come to the end of the episode. Yes, we've come to the end of the first episode. And honestly, it has been so fun going through Temtem. I really enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed how it is different from Pokemon, but still has the same sort of personality. Uh, it's just, it feels more, I don't know, Islander and peaceful and calm. And the playthrough, it has the same, you know, ideas as, like, something's effective against something else. 
and you know it's a battle that takes turns, but I like that you never know what's going to happen. And I, re I really, really like enjoyable, and there's so many aspects to the battle that I feel you have to take into account. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Thank you so much for watching Noob Noob. Hopefully you'll be back for the next episode. If not, I will see you soon. Anyway, if you like, subscribe, and share with all your friends, it'd be much appreciated. And don't forget to comment if you've played Temtem yet. And if so, what is your favorite Temtem? Say yes, and then your favorite Temtem in the comments below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to eat spaghetti, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!